If you're setting up a new Fire Stick or want to switch the account your current Fire Stick is registered to, to use an account without any payment information, this video will help you download and install free apps without having a credit or debit card registered on your account. Let's take a look. It's really important to protect your sensitive information while using the internet. The good news is that NordVPN can help keep your data safe and secure. Plus, Nord is more than just a VPN, with added benefits such as freeing you from any streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal available right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. If you don't want to share your credit or debit card details with Amazon, or you're setting up a Fire Stick for someone who shouldn't be able to make purchases, follow these simple steps. Remember that you can pause the video after each step to take your time and follow along at your own pace. However, it's quick, simple, and easy to do. To get started, I recommend that you create a new Amazon account. If you frequently shop online using your existing account, it can be a pain to keep adding and removing card details whenever you want to make a purchase. Creating a new account from scratch, including a new email address, can make the process a lot easier. If needed, you can pause the video and create a new email address using any free email provider such as Gmail or ProtonMail. The next step is to create a new Amazon account. Now, ideally, if you can for this part, you want to use a web browser on a PC or a laptop, as some people have had an issue doing this on their phones or tablets. Firstly, open up an incognito web browser by clicking the three dots in the top right corner and selecting New Incognito Window. This ensures you're using a fresh browser that is not signed in to any existing Amazon account. Next, type the appropriate Amazon website address, amazon.com, amazon.co.uk, etc., directly into the address bar and press enter to go to the website. Hover over the accounts and lists heading and look for the small writing that says new customer start here. Click Start here and create a new Amazon account using your new email address. Enter your name and email address, create a password and click Verify email. You may need to solve a puzzle to protect your account. If prompted, follow the on-screen instructions. A one-time password will be sent to your email address. Keep the incognito window open and check your emails for the one-time password from Amazon. Enter the password on the Amazon website and click the yellow Verify button. You will then be asked to add a mobile number. Now, as you may have already linked your mobile number to your old Amazon account, you shouldn't add it to this new account. Click the X button in the Windows top right corner to exit the Amazon website. Open a new incognito window and again type the Amazon website into the address bar. Repeat the process by clicking New Customer Start Here and enter the exact same details as before. Again, verify your new Amazon account with the one-time password sent to your email address and click Verify. This time it will skip the part asking you to add your mobile number and take you straight to the Amazon website. Your new Amazon account has been created. You can now use your new Amazon account with your new email address and password and log in to your Fire Stick, whether that's a brand new Fire Stick or a Fire Stick you factory reset or deregistered your existing account from. 
By the way, if you want to find out the differences between deregistering your Fire Stick and factory resetting it, check out my previous video by clicking the link above or in the description below. Once logged in, you can download and install any free app from the App Store in confidence that your payment information cannot be used or accessed. However, you won't be able to install any apps that require payment. You'll see a purchase failure message on the screen if you try. If you see the purchase failure message on the screen when trying to install a free app, you may have to adjust a further setting to use your new Amazon account without any payment information added. If that is the case for you, use a web browser and log back in to your new Amazon account. Again, you may want to use a web browser on a PC or laptop, as some people have had an issue doing this on their phones or tablets. After logging in, click Accounts and Lists and select Your Payments. Click on Settings and then the yellow Update Preference button. Turn on one-click purchasing by selecting the toggle that says one-click disabled for this browser. Once this is done, you can return to your Fire Stick and install free apps without any further problems. I hope you found this video helpful and it worked for you. If it did, let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Don't forget that online privacy and security are more important now than ever before. And NordVPN is an excellent choice. I use it almost every day to help me unblock internet restrictions when streaming such as this. With NordVPN connected, I can watch the content I enjoy from anywhere. You can easily download and install NordVPN's user-friendly app on all your devices, including Fire Stick, by searching for it in your App Store. With NordVPN, simply connect to any one of their servers to ensure that your online activities are unrestricted and protected from prying eyes and potential cyber threats. The Nord app has some very useful features for your Fire Stick, including threat protection to help keep your device safe from potential security threats by blocking access to malicious websites. Plus, AutoConnect makes connecting to a secure server a breeze by automatically connecting to a network without having to manually do it every time you want to use the internet. Split tunneling lets you choose which apps or websites use the VPN connection and which ones use your regular internet connection. These settings and features are essential for anyone who wants to have a secure and personalised online experience. Check out the links in the video description for the best deals and try it now completely risk-free for 30 days.